So if you remember last episode, I crafted a full set of netherite armor and trimmed it with diamonds. Don't worry, I still have it. It's just on an armor stand over back at our old base, and I'm going to have to sleep here in a second. Oh, damn, this stupid night cycle is interrupting my intro. You'll also remember at the very start of the episode, I was chopping down a huge forest, but then decided to take a break from that because it was taking a long time. So that way we could shift our focus towards getting that set of netherite armor. Well, I've cleared out most of it already. There's still that bit over there, uh, but all my axes broke. I crafted a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of iron axes and they all broke. Anyways, that's what's left. Uh, not much. This little batch of trees is all that's left. Anyways, welcome back to a new episode. Today, we are going to start working on our house and i think probably what we're gonna end up doing we're just gonna make the little entrance which is gonna be somewhere over in this area well first i gotta finish clearing out all this unfortunately but after we have done that and we've created our entrance i have a sort of plan slash idea slash layout just kind of in my head of a villager trading hall because if you had watched the first two episodes You'll know that we first spawned at a village over there and then we kind of made our way over to a little mountain sy uh, system over there that we were originally going to build at and right next to it which will be right over there on the other side of this mountain is another village so we have two villages so we have more than enough villagers just transporting them of course if you've played minecraft is going to be a pain in the ass that's the only downside but yeah uh we had found this location and i i mean i've already been over this been de doing deforestation i don't know if i'm saying that right um and, and we're going to be building over here i just got to get rid of all this birch stuff which i guess i'll go ahead and do that by the way if you're wondering why i'm not wearing the netherite armor i'm just not because i don't like have any netherite tools and stuff i just want to wait until i'm able to get a full set of tools and everything and honestly i'm probably going to wait until i'm able to enchant it as well which i have been doing some work off camera towards getting enchantments which i guess i can go ahead and show you now it's not much but i'll run over there real quick and show you actually that reminds me while i'm running over here i just thought about this but i'm actually recording this which is episode three before episode two is even released i've got the full thing edited and everything and it's uploaded but it's not public because i'm scheduling them for weekly releases so that's pretty cool so i i don't know how well the episode's done episode one has actually done great it's got like sitting at like 250 views in like a day which is which is fantastic so hopefully episode two does good but anyways this is my little uh area if you remember I just put a fence around it to kind of protect it and obviously here's my armor and stuff I'll you know like I said once I get the tools and I'm able to enchant everything I'll start wearing everything I've only been able to find enough netherite for only one more ingot so yeah that's kind of sucks but yeah as far as like preparing for enchantments which I want to get done soon I'll just have to off camera get all the netherite to upgrade all my tools but um I've been I've been doing like a little cow farm here obviously and well and sugarcane i should say as well um obviously it's it's not very pretty this is literally just to get us off the ground and get us what we need we will make better farms later on like probably inside of our house somewhere but this is just like was quick easy thing get us going so yeah we should have the leather plenty of leather and plenty of sugarcane here soon i've already crafted uh some bookshelves let's go over here and see how many we have so we have 10 bookshelves i only need like nine 19 i think to max it out technically but i'm gonna ha put more than 19 um just just to make it look nice but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and run back over there and chop down the rest of those trees and once i'm done we'll go ahead and start building the house well that took longer than i thought it was going to it's actually been a few days since I last recorded and I've actually done a lot of other things like mining as you can see I have a lot more of experience and I got more diamonds and a little bit of more netherite not much but uh, a little bit but yeah I was I didn't want to work on this you know off camera too much. But I was in the mood to play Minecraft, so I was like, you know what, I'll just do a bunch of mining and get a bunch of stuff. So yeah, as you can see, all these trees are gone. Like I mentioned just a second ago, this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. A lot of the wood is over here in this chest. Actually, some of it is back in our old area we were building at, but most of it's over here. Oh, I found an abandoned mine shaft. That's why all these are in here, and I collected all the rails that I found in there in case I needed them for transporting villagers. Yeah, so that makes it less that I have to, to, to craft. But I'm thinking about making the entrance right here. It's just going to be a little circle entrance. 
I saw the design online and I really liked it. Theirs is actually the circle entrance is covered up with glass and there's like a little door. I'm just going to leave, take out the glass, not put a door and just have it be a big open entrance. And then once we're in there, there's going to be like a hall. And at the very back of the hall, there's going to be a staircase that goes up a little bit and then it's going to split into two directions. And then it's also going to continue going straight. And the area that continues going straight is going to lead us into, I think, our villager trading hall that we're going to build. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get started on that. All right, so this is what I have so far. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be because I had to tweak it a little bit. As you can see, it looks like a little, like, tube, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't know. It looks cool, but it's, like, connected into this, and it's going to expand into more of a symmetrical, like, rectangle-ish hall here. So, I, I mean, I guess that's what we'll do now, but this is what I have so far. I'm not sure what kind of floor design or, like, wall design I want to go with because I don't want to just wood wash it all with just all wood, you know? So, I don't know. And maybe some of these stairs will be replaced with some other kind of, like, stair blocks, but... I don't know yet. I guess I, I guess we'll see, but I'll keep working on this in the meantime. Great, my diamond pick broke. Now I gotta go make another one. Oh, hello. Hey, put that back! Little jerkhead stealing my my blocks. Um Hold on. Boink. Ah, get under. Come on, there we go. That's what you get, you jerkhead. Stealing my blocks, put that back. Where did this go? Did he place this here? Dude's griefing my base. Oh man, come on. I don't have time for you guys. Ugh. All right, cool. I actually I didn't get marked. I think there would be something up here somewhere that was selling that had like the mark of the omen or something. So I think I'm good. Oh, omen is bottle. Maybe you have to drink this now. I don't know. Oh, well, well, we have one now if we need one. So I figured I'd cut in here and give you a little update here with my spider friend here. Uh, this is what it's looking like so far. I think it's coming out pretty good. Um, like I had mentioned, I, I, I'm not super creative, honestly. So this whole like circle entrance I got off online, I thought it looked good. I might replace this stuff though. I don't think it looks good with this wood. Uh, but if you come in here, I designed all this inside stuff by myself and here's my little spider bro again, just chilling. Hey buddy. Oh no, he's mad. All right, well, anyways. But yeah, this is the inside. I designed all of this. I think it looks pretty darn cool. And it comes up to this staircase right here, which is gonna branch off into two different directions. But the thing we're mostly focusing on today is this room right here. This is gonna be our villager trading room. And I think I'm gonna remove this stuff here. But as you can see, these little cutouts are going to be where our villagers are sitting. Uh, again, this design, I'm kind of going off of an image I found on Google, which I think is actually from a YouTube video. So this design is from a YouTube video. I'm going off of, like I said in the clip, just a thumbnail image. I'm not actually watching the video and designing. I'm just kind of looking at the image and replicating it as best as I can. But yeah, big thanks to Spadetti. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is where this uh, design comes from. So I just want to make that clear. It's not my design. I just really like it. So thanks to that creator. But I really like the way it looks and, you know, like I said, I'm not very creative. So I just like, I like to draw inspiration from other people's builds. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep building all of this and then I guess I'll cut back in once I have more progress to show you. Okay, so I'm having to re-record this part because apparently something messed up with my mic the first time around I recorded this and I sounded like I was in a fishbowl. It was really weird. So hopefully that doesn't happen again when I throw this back in the editor. But anyways, this is what we got so far. I think it looks pretty good. This chandelier, I'm going to fix it because I, I think this looks kind of ugly, but, but, but for now, we'll just leave this there. I ran out of spruce though, so I haven't been able to finish this, but we'll grow some more trees. That's not really too much of a big deal. I think what we're going to next do is go ahead and go to a swamp biome, I believe is what they call it, because slime spawn there. And I really want to get a slime ball so I can craft a lead because I think what we're going to do is just make a minecart track all the way to right here to that that 
that village that's right over there and cart two villagers over here breed them when the baby grows up we'll use a lead to lead the baby the, that's now fully grown into one of the designated spots and we'll just do that over and over i think that's going to be the easiest way so for now i don't know where there is a swamp biome but i'm going to use that website from last episode where you can put your seed in there and then it'll tell you where biomes and stuff are i'm going to use that to locate a swamp biome go over there hopefully get a slime ball really quick and then come back and we'll start working on this so yeah i guess i'll go ahead and do that now so unfortunately i have some really bad news i spent all yesterday making pro Ooh, there's some creepers i need to get rid of those guys so like i was trying to say i spent all yesterday recording for this villager hall that we're making and made so much progress and unfortunately i've been having a problem with obs where when i'm recording it's making my microphone sound like i'm in a fishbowl the audio quality is absolutely awful and just to show you that i'm not lying here's a little clip right now i looked online and apparently you can put them in mine carts and you can see our track starts right here i already got one in a boat so we're gonna sit here and try to yeah it's pretty freaking bad but i made so much progress it's so upsetting so as you can see i have a farm right here this farm is basically like we'll remove it and make a better farm like our permanent this is not our permanent farm this is just so we can grow food to make villagers breed and then also to trade with them so a big thing that i did was i from that village that we had found in the very first episode is i created an entire minecart system to minecart the villagers over i've destroyed a lot of it leading up to here so that way i could have like just cleared out you know because it's ugly it's just random tracks as you can see uh, there's still some right there because i have not cleared all of them out from the village but this is as far as i got to clear so this thing goes up here and goes all the way to the village and i what i did was put two villagers in a boat got them in a minecart and minecarted them all the way over to the over there and if we run over there you'll see that we have a hole in here where we have villagers that were breeding so what i'm basically doing is breeding them once they grow up i'm getting them in a minecart as you can see right here and i am minecarting them all the way into our villager hall room where i made an incredible amount of progress as you can see our entire bottom row has librarians in here now the only one whose trades is locked in is this guy because he had an infinity book none of the else are, uh, all none of the rest of them sorry i can't speak have trades locking yet because i didn't have the emeralds for it so they just cycle through trades right now and i even started got as so far as to start working on this top section where this row we're gonna have uh farmer ones that we can trade crops with and i think all but one of them have their trades locked down so yeah so we have wheat carrots potato trades and stuff and i'm gonna trade with them and get a bunch of emeralds so then i can go down there and get these guys to start uh locking in their trades get them to get some good uh book enchantments and locking it down one thing that i started doing with uh some of the villagers up top I don't think this guy had him, but the rest of them, I kept them in their minecarts. So that way, if I have to break their little thing that they get their profession from, that they can't move. All these bottom guys are not in minecarts. So if I break this, they'll just start walking out, which is going to make it a little bit pain trying to lock down their trades once I, uh, once, because you have to break the lectern a bunch of times and keep placing it to get their trades to change. Because I don't want to sit here and wait through them to cycle through trades on their own. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I literally lost all of that, 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 Footage. Well, I didn't lose the footage, but it's completely unusable. The mic sounds awful, as you heard. And I don't even know if this footage is going to be usable until I throw it into the editor and see. So I, we could be absolutely screwed because I've actually already recorded this part where I've told you guys how all oh, the footage is bad and this is all I've done. And guess what? The audio was messed up again, again. But I have since updated my OBS studio and I did a couple of test recordings and it didn't seem to have the issue. So I think we're good, at least for the time being. If I, I swear, if I throw this in the editor and it is it sounds like a fishbowl again after I just did a bunch of test recordings, I'm going to be so pissed off. But I guess if you're seeing this, that means it's uh, it, we're all good to go. But yeah, I really apologize about that. I'm pretty upset about that. I, I've made so much progress and haven't even been able to show it. And I don't even know how long this episode is going to be now because so much footage is just completely unusable now so I, I like i don't want this to be a really short episode but i guess one thing we could do is i could film a little of the process of me trying to lock down some of the trades in there with the librarian villagers that is so i'll just have to use a bunch of food 
to grow some crop or I'll have to grow a bunch of crops to use that food trade with the villagers up top to get a butt ton of emeralds and then trade with the guys down below luckily we have over at our old location we do still have that skeleton uh, mob xp farm where i can go there i can kill a bunch of skeletons and get a bunch of bones which then i can turn into bone meal to start bone mealing this stuff like crazy which is what i might do but yeah i i really 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 do apologize again guys i'm sorry that that footage was lost but like i said i i ran through everything i did it's just that i'm not going to be able to really show much of, or not show any of it really all right quick update i've been doing some trading with some villagers to lock down some trades and also just to get some emeralds in, in case some any of the uh the librarian traders get any good trades in and i want to lock down those trades and check this out we got something amazing look at this i think it's this guy right here um yeah mending look so we got a 28 in one book mending trade and you know i did that real quick it was funny i actually didn't have any books on me and luckily he had a bookshelf he was trading for so i just dropped in nine emeralds got the bookshelf broke it and then used one of the books to get a mending book so this guy's trade is now locked in I i'm saying locked in hopefully that's a thing i think that's a thing once you trade with them they keep that that, that those trades you know they don't cycle through after that i'm almost positive but and hopefully i'm right but yeah we've got mending now that is great that's like one one of the ones that we really wanted more than everything because that's one of the ones you can't just get from an enchanting table at least an enchanting table i could go through the process of trying to get everything else basically but mending you can't do so luckily we got that that is huge like huge 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 and i guess i should go back in here and show you the progress so far we've got all of these filled up and then i have two of these guys that i'm making armorers so we got two right there. So yeah, we still have the rest of the armors. And then right here, I think I'm going to put weaponsmiths, I guess, um, for maybe diamond tools or maybe no diamond tools. Well, weaponsmith would give us diamond weapons, I believe. But as far as diamond tools go, I think we would need, I think there's another one for tools. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. We, we can see maybe make some of them, um, the, 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 the weapon smith and then the other ones the ones that give you tools but i i guess we'll see you know like uh I, but yeah you know that that's it <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this i keep stuttering over my words just because i i really don't i i don't plan out what i'm gonna say honestly i just kind of like start talking really so yeah but i that's the update so far it's taken a while to get these guys breeded and in there it takes it takes a long time but once we've got it done it's done we're like we're good so yeah that was it and we are back we have completely finished the villager trading hall and as you can see it is magnificent if we go up top here you'll see that every spot is filled in now a lot of these guys trades aren't locked in yet but we'll get to that don't worry and actually a few of these guys are actually maxed level or almost max level because i've been doing a shit ton of trading with them like this guy's an expert uh, and this guy's a master and then yeah then we got some journeymen and stuff so yeah i've been doing a lot of trading with these guys because of the farm that we have so that way we could get loads of emeralds and actually just use some of them to lock down some trades but let me show you what we got so far so we have infinity we have efficiency five with looting three and as i'll show you we have sharpness five we have protection four which is great and we have power five which i just got and then we have the mending feather falling four and fortune three right here and basically what i've been doing to try to get the trades that i want or, or yeah the trades that i want is i'll put a slab up here i don't know if these little like trap doors actually stop them from um you know like walking out when i break the lectern so just to be on the safe side i've been putting a slab up there and i'll crouch under them and right now he has flame and so i'll break the lectern like so collect it and then just place it down give him a new pro profession well it's the same profession but it it re-adds it to him basically and then we can get new trades and so let me see come on give me a book trade all right, there we go. So see, now he's got quick charge two, and I've been trying to get unbreaking three, but have had no no luck at doing that. It takes a long time to get the trades that you want. It's also very loud in here with them going ha 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 all the time, so I have to turn off my volume whenever I'm in here doing that, just because it gets absolutely crazy. So yeah, 
I think that's going to be it for this episode. Again, sorry for all that lost footage. It just really freaking sucks that it... Well, again, footage is not lost. It's just that it's got that crappy mic audio. I have no idea why. But yeah, I'm not going to bore you all with the, with the whole trying to get all the trades that i want that's basically what i'm going to be doing for all of these guys trying to get them i'm going to be training trading a bunch with them and i might go out mining with some coal to trade for these guys get a bunch of diamonds because this is or get a bunch of uh, uh so that way we can trade to get a bunch of emeralds and this is how we're gonna enchant our full set of netherite armor and i gotta go ahead and get netherite tools too to chant because like i showed you we do have mending so that should be handled we shouldn't have to go out and get new netherite to repair our tools now that we have we have mending uh, you know of course unless we die and lose all of our gear but that's gonna do it for this episode i hope you enjoy episode two is literally about to drop today as i'm recording this so i hope you all enjoyed that episode is one episode one did fantastic hopefully two and this episode will do well but yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.